Well, it's finally time. With my final pieces needed for this upgrade arriving, I can now finally upgrade from my FX8350 to a new Ryzen 7 3700X. Combining with a few other parts I bought, this is going to be interesting. So let's go over exactly what I have for this upgrade. We have ourselves a Aorus X570 Elite Motherboard, Ryzen 7 3700X, with some Corsair Vengeance LPX 16GB 3000MHz RAM, and a Be Quiet System Power 9 PSU. Also, I've literally never upgraded a PC before, so there's a chance some things may go wrong. Let's start by unscrewing the expansion cards and finally saying goodbye to this little adapter, which converts two 6-pin into one 8-pin, but only had one 6-pin plug into there, which many people said it was a fire hazard, so... I mean, it hasn't burned anything down so far, so... As far as I know, it's 100% safe, but it can finally go as well. And once this sound called, and then the graphics card are unscrewed, then it's time for, of course, saying goodbye to our old system. Well, not all of it, just the main part. You served me well for five years, but for now, it's finally time to rest. But don't get too sad because it's not going anywhere. I'm not selling it or anything, I am keeping it, and I will be using it for future projects on the channel, so stay tuned for that. And let's start preparing our new motherboard. So, here it is. A motherboard fit for 2019 with RGB, a black PCB, and an overall very min minimalistic look. A lot has changed, hasn't it? Though I do still have a soft spot for the older style of motherboards, I like this because unlike many other motherboards, this one you can at least see plenty of the PCB for, which I just feel is way nicer than having just like sh plastic shrouds covering the whole thing. Anyway, let's get a CPU and let's get it in there. Now it's time for the RAM. Our two nice sleek sticks are here. It doesn't matter which slots they go in, so let's just go with these. Now for the cooling, which I have no idea how you put on, and I don't want to read the instructions because I've been doing it all without instructions so far. So let's continue that trend. It feels a bit loose, but hopefully that won't cause any damage or anything. It seems to be on there tight enough though. I believe it or not, that's the motherboard ready already. So now it's time to take out the old PSU, which is probably going to take a while. This also I'm keeping so I can reuse for when I finally bring this build back. But anyway, now it's time for a new one. It's my first time really doing cable management on this scale. So let's see how far, so let's see how much I fail it. Especially in this case, it's really easy to fail at it because of how little spacing you have at the back for cables. But I think I did rather well, at least for now. Then I noticed something rather worrying, and that is I'm using up one whole SATA cable chain to power my optical drive at the top because it needs a whole one just to reach it. So that means I'm only left with one chain for my storage, which as you can see when I connected them up, makes it that there are these giant these giant loops in the, in the cable. So I need to find a solution, which thankfully was pretty easy. I just had to move some of the drives around, which thankfully wasn't too hard because the drive bays are all toolless designs. So I just pull them out and I managed to fix it up rather quickly. Now with all the cables spared, now it's time to actually put in the motherboard, plug everything in, add in the graphics card, the sound card, and of course, take off that peel, which for some reason apparently is a big deal. So, well, here you go. In, in, enjoy this peel that's going on. Anyway, that's actually the whole system done. So let's just try. Hmm, these white lights on the GPU aren't, I don't think they should be there. Okay, second try. Yes, there we go. Look at that RGB go. Look how beautiful it looks. An Aorus motherboard with an Aorus graphics card, a nice sleek and small sound card at the bottom, and a nice RGB black fan. It all looks so beautiful. So now let's destroy it by covering it up with the side panel, which only has the small little ventilation system here to see inside. Plus the system goes under my desk because it's so big. So yeah, that's probably the last I'm gonna actually see of all this beautiful RGB inside. But now for the most important part, the stickers and which we have two of, the Ryzen one and the Eurus one, which I'm gonna put at the top here so you can fully see what's inside of this system. So that's the build 
all completed. And I'll have a full review of my Ryzen 3700X up soon. I'm so happy I finally upgraded. It's going to make so many things possible, like streaming. And also it's going to make things like editing a lot better, gaming a lot better. But then again, I'm going to talk about all of that in the review. But I think it turned out pretty nice. And if you have any suggestions on how I can improve this build further, then let me know that in the comments below. And also in the description below, I'm going to feature the whole spec list for this system. It's safe to say that my review of the Ryzen 3700X will be my most expensive video to date. Thankfully, I have awesome patrons, this Kryken and Dante James Fowlzone, who are helping me with that. So if you want to help me to make even more ridiculous videos on the channel, then I highly recommend checking out my Patreon down below. Even $1 a month goes a long way. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.